the theory is that if, if I stay on this ladder here the whole time, then the Zombos will not try and take this structure down. Instead, what they'll do is they'll just kind of pile up and try and get back to me, and then I just sit here and drop bombs on their head. Trying to work in the wasteland at night is dangerous as fuck. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm the Bearded OG. This is the Insane Nightmare series, and we are going to try out this new base here. So um, I'm kind of getting it put together at the last possible second here, but I think it's as ready to go as it can be. I'd like to upgrade more of it to steel, but uh, we just don't have any more time for me to go back. But here's, uh, here's the deal. So this base uh, is 10 blocks deep. And it's got these little um, poles here that are all upgraded to steel. And the Zombos will think that they can path on these poles. And they kind of have like a little stair step thing to get up to me. But what they'll end up doing is just falling down into the pit. And then what I'm going to do is drop bombs down on top of them. Uh, so the whole box here is is all boxed in with concrete and um in later, I mean, assuming this works, in later versions of this, I'm going to upgrade, you know, the first three blocks at least to steel as well. But I just ran out of steel. And um, so the thing is, is if I, uh, and, and I have, I'm completely enclosed inside of here. So I'm out of line of sight for cops so they don't spit at us. Um, and then, of course, I have the, the cage on top. But the... The theory is that if, if I stay on this ladder here the whole time, then the Zombos will 
not try and take the structure down. Instead, what they'll do is they'll just kind of pile up and try and get back to me. And then I just sit here and drop bombs on their head um, and get a shit ton of XP in the process. So that's that's the theory. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, this uh, let's go ahead and put a point into healing factor as well. Um, this is based upon a base design that I saw from a YouTuber named Just Rob. Uh, so I don't know if this is his own design uh, or if he got it from somebody else, but he is the one who I first saw it from. And I thought, hmm, that could be interesting because I'm always interested in a base that allows me to get maximum XP from explosions. Uh, you know, uh, so we've got quite a few grenades here and some extra pipe bombs and molotovs and things like that. And, uh, yeah, so this is either going to work or I'm going to die horribly. <laughs> so I guess we're going to find out here very quickly. So we shouldn't need to worry about cops, um, you know, uh, seeing us and spitting at us. See, we, so she already just dropped down. So they they think that they can... They think that they can path on those poles, but obviously they can't, right? And then when they get down there, see, they're trying to jump back up to get to me. They're not really hitting on the side of the wall. So this does seem to be working pretty good. So let's get a nice little batch of them down there, and then we'll nade them. Uh, and, you know, uh, we are going to almost certainly get demolishers tonight. Look at that, 11,850 points, guys. And so, um, you know, that's why I made it so so much deeper because that way if the Oh, okay, we do have cops that could do that to us. Uh, but why I made it so much deeper so that it will... You know, if demolishers do explode, they don't affect our base up here. Okay. Let's get a couple down there. But we're already getting a shit ton of XP, and this does seem to be working. They don't, they don't seem to really be hitting the the walls a whole lot. And what'll happen is, you know, it'll just get, it'll just get deeper and deeper until it eventually gets to bedrock. Um, and probably, you know, when it does reach bedrock, we'll have to. We'll have to have a rocket launcher by then, because I don't know if we can get a bomb all the way down to the bottom of bedrock before it ignites. But I, I can already see that this is actually working quite well. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. And so, yeah, um, this is a, a little bit of a variation on what I saw on just Rob's video, but it's, you know, he it's his basic design. So check him out. I'll put a link in the in the description, too. But, uh, yeah, this is working amazingly well. Uh, but they are definitely going down deeper. So, you know, the, the idea here is that I will, after each horde night, I'll just go down and keep lining the pit until it eventually gets, you know, lined all the way down to bedrock. So that way we can keep them contained and just blow the shit out of them, you know? And at some point, look at that, we already got another point. Oh, my God, that's awesome. Uh, at some point, you know, um... I think the cops will even be down so far that they can't hit us with spit. I mean, it already almost looks that way. Wow, this is this is really working well. <laughs> I didn't know if it would or not. Okay, let's try a Molotov. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. The cops will, you know, set off my nades too, of course. This is amazing. I, I wasn't sure how well it was going to work, but <laughs> it works really good. Really well. 15,000 XP that time. Because these are high-level Zeeks, man. We're over 300, um, uh, 300 game stage here in the Wasteland. And, you know, even if demos do blow up, all they're going to really do is just help us dig further down to, to Bedrock. Because... We're way, way above, you know, their ability to destroy this base. Assume as long as they blow up down there, which there's no reason for them not to, you know. I'm not doing anything up here that would cause them to, uh, you know, not blow up down there. So, yeah, see, I don't know. That, it seems like that spit can't reach us. Wow, this is amazing. 
Even and you know, even if the cops do blow up on their own. Okay, that time it hit me. Um, if I as long as I have nades down there, they're still igniting the grenades and blowing everybody else up too. I'm not sure how much credit I'm getting for that though. Okay, let's get another Molotov down there. Okay, what I can do for Molotovs is just throw it down there without igniting it, and then the grenade will ignite it. That'll work, that'll work too, you know. See? Look at that. I love it. So we're already halfway to the next level. Damn near, anyway. We'll put a, you know, another point into, eventually, we'll put the fifth point into the explosive skill, and I'll also get a hold of some atom junkies, too. Okay, so let's just drop this without igniting it, and then we'll let the grenade set the Molotov off down below. Oh, you know what? I wonder if that cop destroyed it. I'll bet he, bet he did. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. Oh, that works just amazing. It's like, as far as I can tell, they've, we've had zero damage to the to the base up above because they're just falling down below, you know? I am impressed, I have to say. What a design, eh? So the, ni the other nice thing about this design is we, we absolutely shouldn't, you know, quote unquote, shouldn't have to worry about demolishers either. Nine thousand three hundred XP there. Absolutely brilliant. Again, credit goes to Just Rob. I'll link his uh, YouTube link in the description of this video. Go check him out. Give him a sub. Tell him. Tell him a bearded OG sent you, even though he has no idea who I am. <laughs> well, I, I don't think he does anyway. But uh, yeah, this is good. It's an amazing and super easy base design to build too. In fact, on his video, um, he he actually builds it out of cobblestone, and and still uses it with like an, an a maximum horde just to demonstrate how effective it is. Of course, in my case, I I didn't want to risk building out of cobblestone. <laughs> Uh, but I can see now that you could, right? As long as the Zeeks don't have line of sight of you, uh, you know, they're not going to... The cops aren't going to spit, and the zombies are not attacking up here at all, period. They just... They're just not doing it. Okay. Fourteen thousand XP for that one. So if we get to the point, you know, where we can do rocket launchers and have much more immediate explosives and have enough on us, we can we can keep it up all night and just make some serious XP. They're getting, <laughs> they're really getting down there too. It's funny. I'll probably have to build like a uh, a uh, you know like an access tunnel to get to get down there what you know and then we'll just block it off with like a, a steel vault door or something but I'm impressed I have to say okay let's light him up so I don't even think the cops 17,000 650 XP on that one. I don't even think the cops can reach us now. I think there's it's so far down that their spit can't even reach us. Ninety six hundred XP on that one. It's 
it's interesting how you know how people uh, come up with these things okay now we have some boss vultures I've you know figured that was gonna happen so we can dispatch them easily enough you certainly wouldn't want to do this at least not at my game stage without a cage Okay, that should take care of them. Okay, we got four down there. Let's see how much XP we get from this one. 17,550. Beautiful. It's not really a base that's going to be conducive to, to getting bags, but that's all right. You know, it's safe and it's a huge XP farm. Still haven't seen any demolishers yet. I'll bet you they'll show up later. Kind of hope they will, you know. Twelve thousand XP on that one. Okay, we'll light up that Molotov. Another 12,000 XP. I think we have more vultures. Yep. Fuck off, dude. Get the hell out of here. I wonder if I can get a nade all the way to bedrock before it ignites. That's kind of one bad thing about this is I can't really move very well, but not that big of a deal, I don't think. Okay. Oh, actually, no, that cop spit's getting all the way up here. I guess it's just a matter of how well they aim, huh? Okay, something to, to keep in mind. There we go. We already got our third skill point. That was 20,000 XP on that one. That's beautiful. Glad we're doing this in the wasteland, too. Look at all the blue bags down there. Way more than we saw in the forest. Yeah, I am starting to think maybe we can get all the way down to bedrock. With a, a lit grenade. Such an easy, simple design, too, you know? That hurt. A little bit. Why don't we take a... Uh, let's take a small bandage. And maybe we'll take a veggie stew to pop off our health there. You know, some, some Horde Knights, you don't get vultures at all. And then sometimes you get a shit ton of them. Like, this seems to be one of those nights. Let's see what we get on this one. 10,000 XP on that one. Okay. You know, once we... Ah, shit. Once we get all the way to bedrock and I line the entire pit, it'll be more efficient because they will have absolutely nowhere to go. Right now, you know, there's like little pockets of shit down there that they can kind of... You know, the kill's not 100% effective, basically. But I, you know, even so, I'll beef this base up a little more. We'll make it more steel. Make the, uh, you know, the doors, the wood doors, I'll upgrade those. I, I just didn't have time is the thing. So I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get this done on time. Just... Okay, we need to slow down a little bit on the explosives.
Okay, we got 77,000 there. It's a little after 1, 1 a.m. And the boss vultures are just relentless. I think there's another one coming too. Yeah, right there. Okay. Yeah, that spit can reach all the way up here. They just weren't aiming really well the, the first time. But, I mean, it doesn't do that much damage to us. <laughs> he says as he gets infected and an abrasion. Should have taken a fucking vitamin, actually. Okay. Let's do a, a quad here. Fourteen thousand on that one. Nice. Okay. Um, again, I want to. I want to kind of slow down a little bit on the grenades. So I've got some pipe bombs too, but I want the. You know, we gotta get through the rest of the night here. Hell, we're already almost to the next level. That's like four points. Oh, well, okay. I guess that can happen on occasion. <laughs> it's all right. That's why we have guns. Huh, interesting. I hope that doesn't happen with a demo. That could be bad. He's just hitting me through the roof. You're dead, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. So it is interesting to know that on a rare occasion, they can actually get up here. I wonder if... Um, there we go. Four skill points. I wonder if I should change this design a little bit so that the these ladders aren't one block down. These vultures are really distracting me from getting maximum explosives here, man. How dare they do that? Let's see what we get for this one. 11,000. Okay, not too bad. Almost makes me wonder if this design would work better if we didn't go all the way down to bedrock. Can we line it on the bottom too with steel so they they're not so far down? I don't know. Uh, just Rob and oh, there's our first demolisher. In his video, um, he he says go all the way down to bedrock. You know, when you get into the later stages. One of the nice things about going all the way to bedrock is once you are down there, you don't have to worry about the floor because it'll never get damaged, but there's a long way down. We've got 7,000 on that. So we saw our first demo. There's our second one. And the grenade will probably set his no-no button off, but that's okay. Yep, yeah, he just set him off, so he's going to blow it right now. There we go. There's another one. Yep, I didn't even see that one go down. I could just see the orange glow from his button. I don't, you know, hmm. I wonder, though, if, if I remove those ladders from there if that would mess with the base not really sure
There's another demolisher. You know, if I do happen to ignite it up here because it hits one of those posts, that's not a bad thing because the zombies still walk through the fire at that point. Ninety nine hundred XP on that. Nice. Just think about how better this would be if we were maxed out explosives. I had atom junkies going, and we had a completely enclosed, you know, uh, chamber without the the pockets and stuff. Ten thousand XP there. Nice. Maybe what I ought to do is throw throw these down. Can I get it all the way down there? Yeah, okay. Let them soften up a bit and then blow them up. <laughs> that would hit that dude in the head. <laughs> yeah, we got ten thousand XP on that one too. Okay, so let's throw another Molotov. I hear another demo. Let's let, let the demo get down there. There he goes. Okay, we got three grenades ready to go. Now let's ignite and see what happens. 10,000 XP. 18,000 XP. That was from the demolisher's explosion. Get another one of you down there. That one exploded before it hit the ground because it bounced off that cop and then hit the wall. There's another demo. Ten thousand XP, five skill points. Oh my god, that's awesome. Now the demolisher is going to blow. Oh no, he he died before his his nono button went off. That means we got that full XP for killing him. That's good. I think cop explosions are making some of those grenades go off. But again, that works in our favor because one way or the other, we're getting the XP for all the other zombies that are getting killed by it. Okay, we got 8,000 XP on that one. There's another demo. Okay, let's see if we can get one of these down there. No, that, that one went on top. Okay, what do we get? 18,000 XP, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and I don't have the XP turned up on, on, on our game settings. It's just normal 100% XP. I wonder if they're all the way down to bedrock by now. I, I can't tell. There's no way I can tell from here. Seventeen thousand XP there. Yeah, that one didn't make it all the way down. That one will. Okay, we are now now down to pipe bombs. And, but it's 3.30 in the morning, so we're almost done. So I'm just going to throw the rest of these sparingly. Pipe bombs obviously aren't going to do as much damage as the grenades, but that's okay.
Oh, I shouldn't be cooking these. We want to get them down there as quick as possible. And that one got delayed. Okay, we got 3,500 XP from that, and then we lit the Molotov. Let's let the Molotov soften them up a little bit. Oh, there's a direwolf. Okay, let's light and throw as quick as possible. There we go, 13,000. That's not too bad considering we're using pipe bombs. Oh, no, don't cook it. It's just a habit. Okay, we got 6,000 XP that time. You know, it occurred to me, I, I don't have a way to get down there. <laughs> I mean, we will eventually. But like I said, I, I I put this thing together at the last possible second. I wasn't even sure if I was going to make it in time. That's 16,000 XP on that one. Good. And we're going to have very, very minimal repairing to have to do, too, which is amazing. Got, you know, a little bit of cop spit there that we'll have to deal with. But not a big deal at all. Okay, and it's just about morning. Got 7,000 out of that deal. And it's morning. What a successful horde base, guys. This is one of the best horde bases I think I've ever seen in action. Considering its simplicity, you know, and effectiveness. I mean, look at our XP bar. We've already gotten, how many points did we get? We've gotten five, we almost have six. That's incredible. Especially for, you know, just normal XP settings and not, not having it boosted at all. Somebody's beating on something. All right, let's see if we can get rid of the rest of these guys. Okay, 4,800 XP there. I still see a few of them moving around down there. Um, are you beating on my vehicle? What the hell's going on out here? Hell, man. We got him. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think they're all dead. Got a decent amount of red bags down there, too. So, uh, okay. So I think for now, I don't want anybody sneaking up on me while I get down there. I think for now, what we'll do is, um, uh, we'll just kind of stair-step our way down there. And I might even have to temporarily put up a... Okay, let's... Yeah, let's put that in the corner. And then can we... Can we not fall through here ourselves? Hmm, that's interesting. There, okay. I can always pull back out of here, too. Come on, there you go. It's moments like these when I really wished I had some oh shit drops, you know? Mm, oh, well, okay. I can't, uh... Can't really get to the side of the wall from here. Uh, that's interesting. I don't want to jump any further than this or I'm going to break my leg. How do we, how do we handle this? 
We won't have this problem next time, right? It's just... Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, now we should be able to make this work. Oh, there's still a spider zombo down there. Oh, he's dead. And we got a biker. He's dead too. Okay, let's get that. Um, I want to. Want to try and get to those orange bags. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to build uh, a storage crate. Oh, look at that. A blue auger. That's some damn good loot. Wow. Okay, that was definitely the prize loot of the... Well, I guess we still have more up here, don't we? Oh, man, I wish that was the frickin' uh, reserve tank mod that I still haven't found in any trader yet. God, <laughs> so much loot. Another auger. Look at that. All right, is this bedrock? Nope. It sure, it still isn't bedrock. Yeah, so I, I don't know, guys. I don't know if we can... Where are we at? We are eight meters. Okay, so five more blocks down is bedrock. I guess what we do is we get all the way down to bedrock, and then I'll just light a grenade and throw it down here as quick as possible and see if it makes it all the way to the bottom before it blows. If it doesn't, then we're going to probably have to raise the floor of this until we can get a rocket launcher going, uh, which is going to be really expensive. But I will definitely, you know, build the wall, the chute, all the way down, you know, to, to bedrock and line it. So that way everybody stays more concentrated and will get more effective kills. Whew. Okay, look at all this stuff, man. My God. Um, let's see. We got, a, we got a green nerdy. That's a 20% chance. You know what? I think in the interest of... Uh, Trying to get all this shit out of here. I'm just going to use the green one to read all of these. Okay. Well, okay. There's the rocket and rocket parts. Honey knife quality three. Anything else from that one? Nope. Wiring. Nothing from that rifle. Wow. Okay. Iron crossbow quality four. Here's another explosives magazine. Okay, six sledgehammer. So we can make steel quality two now. I will read the scope schematic. Here's two shotguns. Pump shotgun quality five. Okay, so now we can make the same quality that we currently have. That's good. 
Nothing on the tools, nothing on the vehicles. And I think that's it. But look at this. That is awesome. Uh, okay, so here's what I think I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to actually dig. I'm going to dig all the way down to bedrock. And then I'm going to basically dig a ramp back out of here. Um, so we have access to get down here. And then once that ramp's in place, then I can just haul, you know, all the rest of the stuff out of here. And then I will work on enclosing this chute uh, all the way down to here. And at the very bottom, you know, probably the bottom five blocks, because, you know, the demo explosion reaches five blocks, uh, I'll line it with steel. So I think that's that's what we're going to do. And I'll come back and get the rest of this stuff later. But yeah, what a successful base, eh? Um, okay, so what direction do I want this to go? And I don't want it to go into that house because I never did clear that house. Why don't we have it go to the south? Yeah, so we'll have the passageway come this way. Okay, so let's come over here. And... Oh, let's put a few more things in here so I can get the stone. Oh, look at that. We got a, I, I didn't even notice that. We got a blue steel sledgehammer. Not as good as the one we're currently sporting, though. And we got a, we got an upgrade for our fire axe, too. Oh, nice. Here, let's, uh, let's do that right now. And then we have an extra slot now, too, that we can use. Amazing. Okay, so yeah, we're pointing south. Okay, so that's bedrock. And there's our sixth point. I mean, if you compare this base to the tower base, as good as the tower base is, uh, I think the most we ever got in a single line on the tower base was two points. But, you know, way higher game stage and much higher level zombies, though, too. So that does have to be taken into account. Okay, so what I'm going to do down here is... Okay, we're probably more or less underneath the border there is I'm, I'm going to line this whole thing with steel and we'll put a, a steel vault door in here. But, you know, if we keep the explosions up, the Zombos aren't really going to have a lot of time to to try and get, you know, break through that door anyway. I might even double line it too. Uh, but let's just bring it back a little ways and then what we'll do here is we'll just start ramping up from here. Do I have any uh, clay with uh, on me? I do. Um, oh, even better. I've got the the blocks because sometimes you you know you accidentally punch a hole where you didn't mean to, and we can just fill it in with those. All right, guys. Well, um, yeah. Holy shit, man! What a successful horde night, huh? And what a successful base. I should probably, let's do some points before I, I actually let you go. And I'm going to just work on this and then I'll show you the, you know, the finished product. Uh, but yeah, let's do, let's do our points. So we've got six points. That's amazing. All right, let's get fortitude up to seven. And um, that way we can get machine gunner up to four. And we'll get, uh, what should we do? Um, let's actually put another point into living off the land. But I'm also going to, you know, get pain tolerance and healing factor all the way up too. But now uh, we are 40% more damage, 20% faster fire rate, 25% faster 
and four points of stamina for every shot scored. So very nice. That's going to help tremendously. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and make sure you stop by Just Rob's channel. Once again, I'll link it in the uh, description and give him some, some kudos for an amazing base design.